All right, friends, welcome back. We're starting step two of our 3D shape project that we've been working on. Last week, you had six pieces of paper and you had to draw six shapes on each, or one on each of your six papers. And then you had to add a vanishing point in the opposite corner. And you should have drawn your lines that went to your vanishing point. We talked about how this creates one point perspective and you all remember from our Polar Express project that one point perspective is just the one way you're looking at it and you need a vanishing point just one to add your lines to it. At this point you should have taken time to draw out six shapes one on each of your papers. First thing we're going to do today is you're going to get a sharpie and we are going to outline or go over all of your pencil marks that you drew last week. Whenever we do this, be sure you're taking your time and trying to keep your lines as straight as possible. If you need to use your ruler to try to keep your lines straight, you could do that. This one. You're gonna do that for every shape and then I notice right here I didn't go directly on my line so what I could do I'm gonna grab my eraser and I'll just lightly erase those pencil marks now after you've outlined your shape we're gonna be doing some uh, cool art with chalk pastels and we're gonna be creating highlights to make this cube look even more 3D. At this point, we should have already looked at some images that had highlights on them if they were 3D shapes. Normally, whenever we do highlights or shadows, you have to envision where your sun or a light source would be. So, if you're looking at an object and your light source is hitting right directly on a space, that space will have more of a highlight. If it's not hitting on that space, it's gonna have more of a shadow because the light isn't shining on that part. There's a couple ways you can do this. Whenever we do highlights, you're gonna use white and you can also pick a color that is like the color of your paper. So for instance, this color of my paper is yellow. So I'm gonna find sort of a light yellow color to use for my highlight. Now, I'm going to envision that my sun, my light source, is sort of up here. So if the sun was shining, I'm going to imagine what parts of my cube it would be hitting. I know for sure down here it would be hitting that part because that is the furthest part away from my light source. So what I'm going to do, right at this edge, I'm gonna use my chalk pastel and I'm gonna create sort of an L shape right here, okay? Now, we don't wanna leave your highlight a solid line. Can you see right here how it's a solid line? We want to blend that. So what I'm gonna do, and you can add a little bit of the yellow too if you want. I'm gonna use my finger and just kind of blend it a little bit more. That way we don't see that harsh line, okay? I'm also gonna add a highlight in this corner. Now normally when we do highlights, it's gonna be in a corner of your shape. So if you have edges, it'd be in a corner. If you have a sphere though, a circle, that's gonna be different. Whenever you have chalk dust, you can always knock it off. Use your finger and create more of a highlight. Might even add some more going down here on my line. We don't wanna do your whole shape in highlight because that isn't really realistic. You could even go in and add a little bit of a shadow if you wanted to. Maybe by using 
a little bit of gray and creating a shadow underneath where you wouldn't have your light source at all. Whenever we do this, you can play around with it. See how it looks with the light source. Where does it look like it's coming from? You're gonna add your light source with a white chalk pastel. And you could also do a lighter version of the color of paper that you have. And then for your shadow, you can go in with a little bit of gray and create a shadow that way. We're gonna play around with this today. As you're doing this, I'm gonna call more people up to paint your spider backgrounds. And then next week, we'll start wrapping this up.